Hi, my name is Mani Alikani. I am Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR channel. Today, we are continuing the discussion of application of rectangular wire in 2x4 setup. If you remember from the last session, three factors can affect the outcome of 2x4 setup using rectangular wire. One was the width of the bracket. And we discussed that the width of the bracket in sagittal view on the posterior twist in this example molar is wider than the cross section of the bracket on the anterior teeth. And therefore, the amount of the couple that appear in your system is smaller on the anterior teeth than the posterior teeth. If you put the V band in the center, if we had the two brackets that were equal width and they were both of them are in full uh, width in the sagittal view, you're expecting that the moment that appear on both bracket to, to be equal. However, in the third dimension, the couples that appear on the front teeth would be smaller than the couple appear on the posterior teeth. Therefore, even though you are putting your V band in the center, the amount of the couples will not be equal. Therefore, you are not in equilibrium and intrusion and extrusion forces appear in your system. Now, let's start to change the position of the V band and we get close to the molar. As we are getting closer to the molar, you will see the amount of moments on the molar start to increase. The amount of the intrusion and extrusion forces on the anterior teeth and posterior teeth respectively will start to increase too. At this moment, the couple that appears on the anterior teeth is starting to become smaller. If we get around one third of the position, the amount of the couple in the anterior teeth become negligible. This is not necessarily one third as we saw in the sagittal view, but for the simplicity of clinical discussion that will help us to understand what exactly happened if you are getting close to the molar. So around one third position, maybe one fourth position, you almost get negligible couple on the anterior teeth. And this way, the system become very similar to the one couple system. If you get closer to that length, uh, less than one fourth, you will see the system start to act as a step band. I'm going to talk about a step band and characteristic of a step band in future. But this is the place that V band is start to act like a step band. And therefore, you're going to have two moments and those moments are having the same direction. Therefore, the amount of the intrusion and extrusion forces on your system increase significantly. There is a point we need to concentrate and pay attention to. The fact that your system produces less couple on the anterior or even reverse couple on the anterior teeth, that doesn't mean that your anterior teeth will not get proclined. Remember, the, another big source of the moment on the anterior teeth is the relationship between the force and the center of resistance of the anterior teeth. That is nothing to do with your two couple system. If the distance between your force and the center of resistance is more due to the inclination of the anterior teeth, the moment that appear in the system is very large. And due to that large moment, it can bypass the moment that the Y-couple system produce and still you get the proclination of the anterior teeth. Similar effect you can see in the posterior teeth. In the transverse reaction, you may get change in the inclination depends on the inclination of the posterior teeth in the transverse view. Now, the third factor that can affect your two-couple system, but this factor is not as significant as the width of the bracket and the position of the bracket, is the angulation of the bracket on the anterior teeth. To um, examine these factors, let's start with the simple system that we just discussed. We are putting the position of the V-band one third of the distance between the molar and incisors, but in the sagittal view, assume the slot of the anterior teeth and the molar are exactly in the same height. They are not angulated toward each other. And the system you're expecting that produce a almost negligible moment on the anterior teeth and a moment on the posterior teeth will be large and intrusion and extrusion forces appear in your system. And this is because angulation of wire inside the bracket is almost passive. But what happens if the anterior teeth is angulated? When now you're bringing the wire to engage in the anterior teeth, a couple appear in the system. In this example, the class 2D1, in this view, uh, you will have a clockwise uh, moment. And this clockwise moment is not zero anymore. Therefore, change the balance in your system and it affects the uh, magnitude of the extrusion and intrusion forces depends on the angulation of the bracket. It can increase or decrease it. The amount of this increase and decrease is not very significant, but any times that you have two procline anterior teeth or two retrocline anterior teeth, you need to pay attention to this factor too. So in, for example, in the class two div two, again, if you are bringing the wire 
to engage inside the bracket, you will see that you are producing a counterclockwise moment, and this counterclockwise moment can change your system. I hope you enjoy another session of Citor channel. Uh, please uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed so far, and don't forget to press the like button.